welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a dark sport try on haul slash review for you of all the pieces that are going to be launching this Sunday, August 28th at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. This launch is called Rather Die Standing and it is going to be a huge launch. I believe it is Dark Sports biggest launch of the year. So I would assume, I know Dark Sports collections always sell out extremely quickly. This is just my assumption, but I feel like if you normally have a hard time getting your hands on things, this might be a great launch for you to finally snag something. Cause I know they sell, sell out really quick and I know we hate that, but Dark Sports items are just so popular that they sell out really quickly, but with this launch being a lot bigger, I feel like there will be more items to go around. I am an ambassador with Dark Sports, so I do have a code if you would like to save some money and support me. It is code Kaylee, and this saves you 10% at checkout. And just as a reminder before we get into the pieces that Dark Sport is so much more than just fabric and clothing, it represents people's stories and it represents the grit and determination it takes to walk through this life. So each time you put on these pieces of clothing, it serves as a reminder that there is something bigger, something worth fighting for. That this is a team, this is a family, and not everyone might get it, the struggle, the grit, but we get it. And that's why we say it's not for everyone, it's for us. I just, I, I got to go on a trip with Dark Sport. I'm still working on editing that vlog, I'm so sorry. But I got to go on a trip with Dark Sport and it just really was such an eye-opening experience for me to get to know more about the brand and they treated us so well and it just made me feel like an important part of the team and that means so much to me. Getting to see how people truly live and breathe this brand because it means something to them was so inspiring. That's why now when I wear the brand, it's like I'm representing so much more than just the wolf, you know? I'm representing all of these people that work hard and they don't give up. And that's what Dark Sport is. It's about never effing giving up and standing for what you believe in. And that's what this collection is. It's called Rather Die Standing, so let's get into it. For sizing reference, uh, height, weight, all of that stuff, I am 5'2", let's say I'm a little shorter than 5'2", 5'2", 120 pounds-ish, and uh, I wear a size extra small. If they do carry extra smalls in the bras, some bras come in smalls, and if that's the case, I would wear a small. Um, and then a small in the shorts small in the tops and sweatshirts if they're women's. And then I don't believe I have any men's pieces other than what I'm wearing right now, which I didn't include in the try on. Um, men's t-shirts, literally you can wear whatever size you want. I have every single size in the men's tees. I have a small, medium, large. I might even have an extra large in there somewhere, but just depends how oversized you like your tees. And there's a ton of pieces that I don't have in this launch. So, uh, um, just be sure to check the preview. Maybe I'll try it. I'm not very tech savvy, but maybe I can try to put the preview up on the screen so you guys can see all of the things launching from the women's collection because, again, I don't have everything. There was just so many things, baby. But with that being said, let's jump into some of the pieces. So there is a ton of loungewear dropping this drop, and Dark Sports loungewear is just absolutely 10 out of 10. So we're starting off with this Everson mock neck. So this is the Everson mock neck. I love these hoodies. They have dropped them in other drops before, but this is a new print. This is called Cream Marble. And I am pairing it in the try on with the matching shorts. These are the Everson shorts in the color cream marble as well. I love the woven patch on the front of these shorts. I just feel like it is such a fun kind of tough detail they add to the shorts. They're extremely stretchy, very soft. They're pretty short, short. And I would say these run true to size. I wear a size small in these and they just, they're still really stretchy. They're not too tight anywhere. So I would stick to your normal size in these unless you enjoy sizing up in your loungewear, then by all means size up this, it wouldn't be too big if you decided to size up in this. And the mock neck is so gorgeous. I love all of the um, patches on this mock neck are embroidered. So it just feels really, really high quality. And I love that they went with this kind of fern detail on several pieces of the clothing for this launch. And I will try to include the like picture of the colors launching, but this is going to launch in four colors. It is going to come in black, 
the cream marble, which is the one I have, Roman Tiger Camo, which I have a few pieces in that print that I'll show you, and the Tan Origin Camo. I do have a pair of sweatpants in this. It's really, really cool and pretty. Um, I also have those Everson sweatshorts in the Roman Tiger Camo. I love this print. It is definitely bold and loud, so you will not be blending in if you wear this out or to the gym, but I think this is a really, really pretty color and pattern. Um, same fit as the other um, shorts. And then I don't have the mock neck in this pattern, but I do have a couple other things that pair really, really well with it so that are the same pattern. So this is called the Roman Tiger Camera, Camera, Roman Tiger Camo Kinship She Dominic Crew Neck. So this is a crew neck. It has cute little buttons going up to the top. It has three buttons that you can undo. And then it is just a standard crew neck. And then it does fit slightly oversized, but I'm still wearing, let's see what size I have. This is a size small, so I would say these are very generous in sizing. So I wouldn't worry about sizing up in a piece like this. Very, very comfortable. It kind of feels like that terry material, so it's not fleece lined. It's not going to be too, too warm, but this will keep you warm for a nice little pump cover or a cute little outfit out. I feel like a lot of these pieces you could wear out as like styled pieces with a cute pair of pants or jeans or whatever going into fall. I feel like these would be so cute. And also in the Roman Tiger camo is this cropped hoodie. I love the cropped hoodies this launch. I love the dual wolf on the wolf, the dual wolf on the back of some of their sweatshirts. I think it is so sick. And then in the front, this one does not have, it just has the singular button kind of attached to the hood here, but nothing crazy. It's just a little added flair. Um, these are just like a semi crop. It's not going to be like laying right at the boob or anything. I feel like these are a nice length for something cropped. And again, I just love this print. I like the little wolves that they've put into the camo. I think this would look so BA in the gym and just really, really cozy pieces too. They're really comfortable. Moving on to my staple black pieces and this cropped hoodie, um, this is called the crown cropped Dominic hoodie. This is so freaking dope. I love the embroidered um, leaves on the um, hood. I guess that's why they call it a crown because it is on both sides and I feel like this looks so sick. This is uh, like intertwined throughout a lot of the pieces in this launch is this kind of like foliage look which I think looks super sick. This also has a few buttons. I don't know if you can see it here but this has a few buttons going down the neckline and then again a couple embroidered pieces on the chest. Kind of your standard crop hoodie but I feel like this really levels it up with the embroidered details. I feel like it just steps it up from just a plain black hoodie which I think is really really cool. And then I ended up pairing that sweatshirt with these are called the Laurel She post lounge sweats um these are all kind of iron on details um and then the patches up at the top are embroidered into the sweat you have uh, a stretchy top and an adjustable drawstring and then the cuffs on the ends of the legs are elastic as well so they're nice and stretchy these sweatpants are really really comfortable and i feel like they're so freaking ba i love the look of these i'd wear these in the gym for like a sick pre-leg day pump i love the look of just a matching sweat set which i'm really glad that dark sport does a lot of matching pieces but you can also mix and match a lot of things as well but with those black those two black things together i felt looked freaking nice one of my very very favorite things launching by far this launch is called the dual tyler mock neck sweater this all the details in the sweater are insane so this is like a mock neck this buttons up i'll just button it for the sake so you can see the shape of everything um this is giving i can't like fully describe it if you could see all the stitch work like on this sweater it's giving like really upscale like styled sweater so it reminds me of like a free people sweater or something i love all the like exposed seams the wolf on both shoulders the fact that you can button this if you want to the drop shoulder is really dramatic and then you kind of have this almost like balloon sleeve going out so this is really 
like generous sizing this is a size small but this is absolutely like the cutest comfiest sweater i think that they are launching also just not to mention i think this is probably one of my favorite pieces that they have ever launched so i think these will go extremely quickly so they are launching this in white the black and i believe this like teal blue color it's called the the blue color was called greek stone so it's kind of like a very very washed blue gray but this is so comfortable. I love the relaxed fit of it. It just looks really, really effortless, but it's extremely comfortable. And I really like that you can wear this in and out of the gym. I feel like this is one of the pieces where it truly looks like you could dress this in a way that just looks fashionable outside of the gym. Okay, next up. I'm sorry, these are all inside out from when I tried them on. I'm filming this part and the part where I tried stuff on in a, in a different day. So if you feel like I look different, because I do, because it's a different day. So um, we have the Everson training shorts up next. These are Dark Sports seamless, oh, seamless shorts. I like literally gasp when I see this color on camera. Look at and when you if you decide to fold it over, I love that it's a different color on the inside. Oh my gosh, you guys, this pattern just looks freaking dreamy so they are launching these uh, seamless everson training shorts they improved their seamless shorts so if you have tried dark sports seamless shorts in the past meaning even four months ago these are a different short they are extremely stretchy a very 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 soft fabric the scrunch on these bad boys here you can probably see it on the pink better the scrunch on these you don't see it when you put them on because they go right in between the cheeks but it doesn't look like you're trying hard it just happens it just happens naturally these are so flattering i don't think anyone that bought them wouldn't like them like that's how confident i am that these shorts are freaking amazing i obviously have tried probably one million pairs of workout shorts and I can confidently say these are in a top five for me, top three. I don't even know what my tops are right now, but if I just had to guess, like these would be up there. These are launching in four colors. We have the Greek stone marble, which is the green that I have in my hand right now. The cream marble, which is like that first um, lounge set that I showed you. So it's kind of like a tan white. The mauve marble, which is the pink and they are launching in an all black pair as well. This also comes with the matching Seamless Everson sports bra. They all come in the same colors. I really like these sports bras. Um, they are pretty dang compressive. So I, these don't even come in an extra small. They come in a size small and that is plenty tight for me. I like that the straps are also adjustable and they have the clasp in the back where you can, uh, one sec. They have the clasp in the back where you can make it a kind of racer back or like a cross strap back. So I would say I, I'm like a size like a 32C and uh, these fit me really, really well and I feel very supported in them. I could run in them, but if you are very, very large chested, I just honestly don't know how supportive this would be for you, but they do feel very compressive and i love 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 the way they look and even if they aren't super supportive if you were very very large chested i would still say you could wear these on a strength training day if you were working upper body or something like that if you are slightly more concerned about the support level in these but i love these bras so much next up i didn't try these ones on for the try on haul because i completely forgot because i got these a while back when i went on the dark sport trip earlier this month but we have a couple pairs of pump shorts in that um, wolf camo and i also had it in the green but i can't find the green right now but they are launching it in this like everson green i think that's what it's called oh, the emerald green that's what this one is called um i really like these bras as well i prefer wearing an extra small in this one I wish that the straps were adjustable, but I really like the way the extra small fits on me, so I don't need to do that. Um, I like a shorter sports bra anyways, um, just because I like where it hits right underneath the boob, kind of. Um, but these fit really, really well. I like these sports bras a lot, and I feel like they're really, really flattering, and I love the thin strap in the back to kind of show off your back for upper body day. But these pump shorts are... 
I don't know if they're going to keep doing the pump shorts this way or not, but this is called the pump short. Previously, the pump shorts didn't have this band that ran across the top seam. Um, I'm personally not a massive fan of the seam that runs around the top, but overall, I love, love the short and I love the material of the short. That is all the same. But I think for all of the pump shorts for this launch, it does have this little band that runs around the top of the short. Okay, my, <laughs> I did wear a couple of these and I have not had a chance to do the laundry since. So don't look, if I, you see the tan stuck to these bras, I apologize in advance. You just, you have, it is what it is. This is real life. I wore the sports bra to work out and I got myself tan like all over the band here. But we have a couple colors launching in the wellness bra. I love this bra. I really like the ribbed detail on this bra. It feels like t-shirt material, so it's really comfortable. I wear a size extra small in this and this is launching in the color white and greek stone. I love these. These have removable pads in them as well. I would say the bra, the white bra needs the removable pads in them. Otherwise, I prefer removing the removable pads. I prefer wearing my bra without them. I have just some fun pieces that I don't think will get a ton of hype, but are really, really amazing pieces. This guy right here is called the Dry Wolf Training Tank. And the front, these are super stretchy and comfortable. They feel like a really cool sweat wicking material. Um, but the front looks like this and then the back is mesh and it has this wolf on the back And I think these are so freaking cute to train in They're extremely comfortable and if you just don't want like a tight fitting top that day I feel like these are great options to throw over your workout outfit that day so sometimes when uh, I'm just not feeling like just wearing a sports bra or even like a tight like long sleeve or a tight long bra or anything like that. These are super great to just throw over your sports bra and not feel constricted. I have one more cropped crew neck. This is called the In Our Veins Cropped Crew Neck. I love the color of this crew neck. This is also called Greek Stone, but I'm realizing that Greek Stone has like four different colors. <laughs> so this one definitely looks more blue. The Greek Stone and the shorts look, looks way more green. And then in some of the other ones, it runs more blue in my opinion as well so it's kind of this like marble tie-dye look um i love this it has cute little wolves on both of the sleeves and then on the chest it just has she with the little uh motto etched in on the front i really really like all of the cropped hoodies this launch okay i did find a couple of my crop tees that i had on the trip these crop tees are Honestly, I've been gravitating more towards the oversized tees, but these specific crop tees, I don't know what it is about them. These just like really hit different for me. This is called Roman Red. This is just the premium crop tee. And I think it's the um, dual wolf on the back that just makes it feel so tough to me. But these cropped tees go with absolutely everything. And the red just feels so like BA and hot fire flames. I also have it in the white and red. I love this. I've worn this one a ton already. And with the red wolves on the back. Oh my gosh, that is so cool looking. Ah! Oh my gosh. Okay, I love those. And then I do have it in um, black too, but I don't know where it is. I think it's probably in my laundry. Last but not least, I finally have something in the print in that tan origin camo. So there are a few things launching in this print, but this is the only thing I have. I love this print. I think it is such a fun spin on camo and it has the wolf on each leg printed on. They fit kind of like all the other um, sweatpants as well. So it has the adjustable drawstring and elastic waist and the um, elastic leg cuff. But I think that is all I have for you guys. Oh, wait. I forgot to show you, this hat is launching too. Have you ever seen a cooler hat? Um, they are launching these hats as well. They're launching, they always launch hats and they always sell out extremely quickly. But this hat, I've never worn a hat more. I've had this hat for like a month. I've never worn a hat more than this hat. It is like my anthem hat. I don't know how else to describe it other than this hat makes me feel 
like I'm a superhero. Definitely the most popular items will go within several minutes, but most of the things will sell out between 24 and 48 hours. So make sure you are on the drop. Again, I do have a code. It is code Kaylee to save 10%. We are dropping this Sunday, August 28th at 6 p.m. And I hope this video helped you guys decide a little bit more on things that you might want to purchase from this launch or just helped you get to know the brand a little bit better. Thank you guys for watching this video and I will see you again in my next one. Thank you. Bye.